Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. And today I'm going to be covering Cardi B's mysterious pregnancy and even more mysterious snapback. I know some of you are going to think this video is completely over the moon and extremely far-fetched, but I am making this video because I am not the only person who is suspecting foul play. I'm not the only person who is noticing something over there with Cardi and Offset is just not all the way kosher. So I was like, you know what? I'm not alone in noticing something's weird. I'm going to make a video for the people who are with me on this, for the people who were like, yeah, we're noticing something is a little bit strange. If you want to get woke, stay woke, be woke, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments and let's go ahead and get into it. So there is a person on Instagram, shout out to her, named Where is Gucci Mane? And I've been following her for a while and she frequently talks about celebrities wearing moon bumps and i have to admit i was like um i think some of them are i don't think all of them are but with this situation with cardi b i'm starting to suspect that she was wearing a moon bump if you don't know what a moon bump is a moon bump is like those fake bellies that people wear in movies you know that like again make you look pregnant and they're very realistic looking you know like they have like the flesh you know looking design and they can really make you look pregnant it's supposed to be you know very real looking because it's used in films and of course you want your film to look the most you know realistic as possible you know all good films and good you know cgi good editing is supposed to look real you know art is supposed to Im imitate life so whereas Gucci Mane has called out celebrities for a while now about wearing moon bumps and what started to tip me off that something wasn't right with Cardi B is her snapback has been insane. And I know some of you are going to say, well, she had surgery and she didn't know she was pregnant and, you know, she's had a bunch of surgeries and, you know, you might make up some excuse about her health and dieting, whatever, whatever, whatever. Believe what you want to believe. You do not have to believe this video. You could think I'm insane and crazy. This video is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. But what I'm saying is, okay, you just had a baby. And the first thing you do is fly to Paris for Fashion Week. You don't need any downtime. You're back in the clubs you know, still full out lying with offset. Your stomach is completely flat. You haven't needed again. You're not tired. You don't need downtime. You're not still, you know, um, sore, swollen, bleeding, like no type of downtime symptoms. Stomach is completely flat. Looks like barely any real weight gain. You know, just it's just weird. It's like nothing ever really happened. And again, you just had a baby supposedly, but the first thing you go do is fly to Paris Fashion Week. Now, I bring that up as well because I have a photo of her and Offset pictured with that industry alleged witch, Michelle Lamy. If you don't know, Michelle Lamy is a good friend to a lot of celebrities and she is the wife of fashion designer rick owens and if you i have pictures of her in the video you can tell something with her ain't all the way kosher neither she looks very demonic very you know just of the underworld and i'm like okay so you go have a baby and you go hang out with her far away from your kid way in paris like a little bit weird and again, we see Offset with her too. Now, Offset is also pictured with Michelle Lamy alongside the Migos when Takeoff was still alive. Again, I have pictures in the video. And, you know, somebody has suspected that Cardi and Offset were the ones behind Takeoff's unaliving. And I used to think it was Quavo because I know Quavo thinks that he's that he was the Beyonce of the group. And I know that Quavo was like really like 
desperately trying to propel his solo career. But as time has gone on, I'm starting to believe that yes, Cardi and Offset may have been the ones that actually played a part. And I wouldn't be surprised if all three of their asses conspired because that's how it's looking. Between Quavo performing in the damn Phantom of the Opera mask, you know, what, at the Grammys right after Takeoff's passing? And then um, isn't he continuing to like get movie roles and stuff like that? And then again, Cardi B isn't releasing music, but she is certainly still doing whatever it takes to stay relevant you know again this this divorce with her and offset is staged y'all have got to know that by now they do this every year it must be the play that michelle lamy is telling them to keep running because they do that every year people have joked and said that this is their like annual divorce filing because this girl has filed for divorce like three times or has, you know, threatened to file for divorce about three times now. So they're constantly bickering and battling in public. That's why you need to understand that this is publicity. Because if her and Offset were like really going through it, they are playing out every single detail of their internal home beef for the public. Nothing is off limits. They are airing each other out on twitter showing text messages all of this and that and again when people are usually going through something legit they don't want people in the intimate details of their life you know airing out each other's dirty laundry so that's how you should know that this is all bullshit it's fugazi and it's a pr stunt offset has spent the last i'm gonna say give or take three-ish years cosplaying in Michael Jackson outfits you know he really really has and we know that Cardi B has continued to cosplay and troll as Nicki Minaj and again that is because that is their shtick you know they remind me of like again impersonators you know how there are people who really do have a job impersonating Michael Jackson and like they bounce around in public you know cosplaying as michael jackson like it is so corny and dry but that's what these two do they're like cosplaying other celebrities which i believe you know is a ritual in itself it's a form of energy harvesting i've, I've told you guys that before when you see celebrities dressing up as other celebrities or paying homage that's what they call it paying homage to other celebrities it's a form of energy harvesting especially when it's not from a genuine place and it's to the point of mockery that's an energy harvest we see it frequently done with Aaliyah and of course the number one person who people try to emulate is Marilyn Monroe you will always see female celebrities wearing a Marilyn Monroe style wig at some point because this is all about idol worship and the satanic system or the beast system of Hollywood and the world is to worship idols. And once they unalive these people, they get leveled up in the system to godlike status. And so what happens to them is people start to worship them. They may have been, you know, hated and controversial when they were alive but once they pass that is when they get to level up and to again this deity status in which now they're revered and worshipped and loved so just understand that it's the same satanic ritual that was done on jesus christ when jesus was walking this earth he was controversial and there were people who were against him but the moment that the satanic system unalived him oh now everybody just loves jesus and i'm not saying that you shouldn't i'm just saying that the same people who went against him are the same people that run churches and um manipulate his teachings in his name so understand that play but let me think uh, let me know what you guys think about this you know cardi being an offset thing i definitely think there's something strange going on again if you just had a new baby 
why don't you want to be laid up with your baby like you're a new mom and i know you already have kids but this is a newborn this is a, a very very young delicate sensitive fragile baby who you should want to watch every single moment of the day but instead you're hanging out with alleged industry dark lords at fashion shows on another whole fucking continent and you're down to the club popping ass pulling pr stunts with offset and that's to be strange to you guys the fact that neither of this baby's parents are at home watching her on the regular because i would be watching my kid on the clock it is known especially in ethnic communities cardi is dominican offset is black many again latino and black people definitely believe in staying your ass home for several weeks several weeks upon postpartum so again the fact that she's like just out and about acting like nothing happened flat ass tummy no swelling no needing to again lose a baby weight y'all something is weird and now the gag is people are saying that hennessy carried the baby I don't know about all of that. I don't know where they're getting that from. I just don't know. I think a secret surrogate could have been involved. I don't know about Hennessy. But that is um, a rumor that's going around or a speculation that's going around that maybe her sister Hennessy carried the baby for her. I don't know about all of that. But I do know something here is off. And I want to talk to you guys in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Hit y'all in the next one. Bye.